Okay, now, what do you do if you ball spin, you're coming off a screen, you catch the ball, and your defender is squared up on you. He's in good shape. He's not a little bit high where there's an open window. He's not a little bit low where there's an open window. He's squared up. What do you do? I'm going to give you two tools that you can use to beat this guy. You're going to create your own advantage. All right, let's change around. Let's switch it around. You guard me and be squared up on me. You're just in great shape. Okay, the first move is called the rocker move. And this works, it works, it works. All right, all you do when you recognize you inside pivot and you recognize that he's squared up on you. Take your direct drive step hard. Jab a direct drive. Okay, now watch what he has to do when I step hard at that outside foot. Okay, good, very good. See, I backed him off, and he has no choice. He has to do that. Now, what I'm going to do is come back to a shooting stance, and I'm going to have the ball cocked and loaded right here. Now, did you see what he just did? Inevitably, what he will do is you back him off, and you come on. Now, I want you to do that to me. Let's go through it step by step. Back me off. All right, now go back to shooting stance and have the, yes, have the ball up. It's like throwing honey in front of some bees. He can't help it. He's going to have to do this. And when he does, yes, you just, no, get by me, though. So it's direct drive, rock back to shooting stance, then direct drive right by me. So let's go through the whole thing. Ready? Now just go step by step. Ready? Direct drive back direct drive so why do we call it a rocker move because your body is like a rocking chair going back and forth back and forth direct drive back to shooting stance direct drive and go by him. okay let's go rocker move inside pivot let's go okay freeze 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 I knew that was gonna happen okay very good except for one thing you squared up. Now watch my feet. This is what you just did. Back up where they can see it. All right. He did the jab step correctly. That was good. But when you came back, you put your foot back here like this. Now, who do you know is going to shoot the ball like this? Maybe a seventh grade girl. But guys don't shoot it like this, so he's not going to raise up. Plus, this is now a very slow, long step. You want your feet to come back to shooting stance. So jab. Look, watch this foot. I come back to shooting stance right there. Then I go right by. Okay? All right, here we go. Let's go. <sighs> Jab. One step. Let's get all the way to the rim. We're not going to shoot pull-up jumpers yet. We're going to add that in a minute. Get to the rim in one dribble. Get to the rim in one dribble. Jab. Right. Very nice. That's it. Good. 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 That's the way to get to the rim in one dribble. Good. Okay, that's good. Stop. 